Thorpe Park Resort used to be known as the nation's thrill capital, but is also the island like no other nowadays. But for 2024, they're making some huge, thrilling changes. Not only are they adding the UK's tallest and fastest roller coaster in Hyperion next year, but they're also adding a brand new themed area to replace the expired IP of Angry Birds. That's right, Angry Birds Land will be flying away into Thought Park Paradise up in heaven, and we're going to be getting the big easy boulevard crashing down in 2024. So we are going to discuss everything to do with the big easy boulevard so far, including what's happening with the rides in that area, a bit of history around the site, and also the attractions, and share my thoughts on the brand new theme. This news has been out now for the last couple of weeks, last few weeks. Uh, I am late to this, very late to this, so I do apologise. However, this is a theme park news channel, so there may not be stuff that may be out at the exact moment it gets announced, but it gives us more chance to, you know, think about it, analyse it, give more detailed thoughts. So before we get started, make sure you do like, comment, subscribe. Click that case post on this YouTube video. We have hit 2,200 subscribers. Let's get to 3K as soon as possible. We're 800 away or under 800 away now. Uh, and for now, guys, let's go and have a look at everything to do with the Big Easy Boulevard at Thought Park Resort, as well as sharing some concept art on your screen. So then, there's a bit of history for you guys. Angry Birds Land is, of course, the Angry Birds IP themed area, uh, which has been operating since 2014. Now, this is located in a section uh, of the Amity Cove area, now known as just Amity. Uh, so you've got Destinator there, you've got uh, a bit of space here and there, you have the old Time Voyagers. Uh, now, a bit of history on that attraction. It opened originally as Pirates 14, 1999. Time Voyagers took over with a few years left, um, and then obviously for a few years it was Time Voyagers that was brought over from Gardaland, that was the original film from Gardaland, uh, and then it stood SBNO uh, for a year or so, and then we got the news that we got Angry Birds 4D, so after a couple of years of SBNO for Time Voyagers, we get Angry Birds 4D, we get the brand new Dodgems attraction at the time in 2014, King Pig's Wild Hog Dodgems. You also get the re-theme and redesign of the 2001 Fabry Drop Tower Detonator into Detonator Bombs Away. Now then, what do we expect from Big Easy Boulevard, which is coming into the area next year in 2024? All the Angry Birds has gone, by the way. All the signage for Angry Birds, I believe, has been removed now. So the change has already started. This will be a stroll down the perfect place to let loose, seize the moment, and create memories. From the concept art, I get a strong kind of New Orleans kind of vibes. I think that was, that was mentioned in a couple of articles that you get like a New Orleans kind of vibes or uh, sometimes I get like a Hollywood kind of vibe in, in some places and then the reason why I say Hollywood is it gives you that relaxed kind of you know excitement that Hollywood will bring you but it gives a New Orleans vibe in terms of the colours and the design of the street. Obviously with, if Thought Park are bringing back the Mardi Gras event next year then that's going to be an absolute gold mine for, for theming, for entertainment, for everything culture related. It's going to be fantastic. Experience epic thrills and laughter packed rides at the Freedom Firework Company every day is the 4th of July. So brace yourself for the ultimate adrenaline rush on Detonator, the drop tower ride that sends you plummeting 100 foot to an epic finale. So it looks like the new theme for Detonator will be some kind of fireworks show uh, and you're the kind of main firework that goes up and then shoots back down. Uh, that's the kind of theme we're going for with this one. You can also fuel the fun on the Dodgems, our classic bumper car ride that guarantees laughter for the entire family. Uh, so that's been rethemed like a gas station and a classic sort of 60s um, you know, proper American diner style um, space kind of uh, centre uh, with the Dodgems as kind of like your 60s diner fuel garage uh, kind of combination thing. So I, I like the look of that. I like the look of the Dodgems gas station theming. I would like a more inventive name than Dodgems. I'm sure that will come, but at the moment we're just calling it Dodgems, which hopefully they'll, they'll, they'll give a better name off, in my opinion. Then you've got the sensory delights at the cinema. Immerse yourself in the awe-inspiring 4D movie at our cinema, where you'll be treated to a thrilling multi-sensory experience. Prepare to be transported into a captivating world of sights, sounds and surprises with our new blockbuster. Now that is yet to be revealed by the park, so stay tuned for more information 
on that. Satisfy your sweet tooth as well. What's a stroll down Big Easy Boulevard without indulging in the, in the delectable delights of our neighbourhood? Satisfy your sweet tooth with a visit to Candy Pip Sweet Easy, stacked from floor to ceiling with all the sweet treats your heart desires. Uh, now that is a very, very nice sounding uh, <laughs> um, area there in terms of the food and the and the um, the food and drink that you're going to experience in this area. So we've got a new food outlet, like a snack. It sounds like a bit of a sweet snacky kind of outlet, uh, as well as the refurbishment of the attractions. And I'm sure we'll get some other stuff. We've got the the repaints of the buildings. Uh, I think uh, some of the colours that was giving off in Angry Birds Land was kind of like a, a nice kind of sort of signal of the colours that we could experience. I think keeping some of them colours could be a, a good move by the park because it allows a smoother transition into a new themed area. And again, I love that the park are going with a non-IP theme with this area. Comment down below, is this the end of the intellectual properties? Are we gradually starting to come towards the end of uh, an overflow of intellectual properties within the UK theme parks because Angry Birds has gone now. We had Charlie go a few years ago at Alton Towers. Um, I don't think, I'm, in my personal opinion, I don't think the Alton Towers dungeon's got much uh, life left. Um, I mean, we'll see what it's like next year, but I really don't know what the long-term plan is for that building. I don't know how long the dungeon's actually got in that building. I'm not too sure. Um... Obviously, we had we got Black Mirror Labyrinth, the Thought Park Resort. How long that lasts, I don't know. Uh, the Walking Dead, the ride as well. How long that lasts, we don't know. Saw again, another IP that people questioned how long it will last, but there we go. Um, is this an, an end to some of the intellectual properties in, over the next few years, next decade? Comment down below your thoughts. But uh, Big Easy Boulevard, a nice smooth transition from Angry Birds Land, keeping the bright, colourful nature of the area, but bringing that that proper strong New Orleans vibe with the excitement of walking down a Hollywood red carpet, in my opinion. That's the kind of feeling I get from this straight away. And I love the new theme for Detonator, by the way. I love the theme of the Dodgems, love the theme of the um, the whole area and things like that. By re and the cinema as well, don't forget. But I really love the new theme for Detonator being this epic finale, fight, epic firework finale, shooting you, shooting you down from a hundred feet. I love the kind of Freedom Firework Company kind of storyline with it as well. I love that Detonator's got a proper storyline now. Of course, Detonator replaced uh, Wicked Witch's Horn. used to be known as Phantom Fantasia back in the day. So, obviously, there was a tragic situation with the Thought Part Fire back in 2000. And to get Detonator from that is obviously a nice positive. And I'm really loving the new theme. So, comment down below your thoughts then on Big Easy Boulevard. I am the C-H-A-L-L. Ta-ra for now. We've got a lot of news updates coming up, so stay tuned.